Hey everybody, great to have you back here in the fish tank. Today we're going to be talking about the latest PTR for Mini Masters, which are showing us the upcoming cards and the balance changes, the proposed balance changes for version 2.2. Now, unfortunately, this is only a theoretical one. There is still unable to put together an actual test. So it's, yeah, you know, especially with the new cards, it's very useful to get your hands on. But since this is theoretical, we're just going to do this um, in theory. Uh, and of course, I'll put a link to this document in the description so you can check it out yourself and hopefully have your own feedback. Uh, the devs do read each and every one of these uh, balance survey reports. Uh, so let the devs know what do you think about the proposed cards, the proposed balance changes and any other things that you have going on balance wise with regards to Mini Masters. So let's dive in and find out. So we're going to have two new cards as always. Uh, we've got this teaser image. We've seen this in the game. So this guy is called High Marshal Rystar. So he's a 10 mana unit, 700 HP, does 200 damage every 3 seconds, so 66 DPS. So it puts out a lot of damage. Uh, and he also has an ability where he shuffles 3 Legionnaires into your deck that are summoned automatically. That's on play. So that's the same with things like the City Watch or um, Aveya, where she, sh she summons the zero cost legionnaires into your deck randomly throughout your deck they're um, single use and they spawn automatically at the tower once you get through to them in your deck now he also has an ability where he buffs your next 10 legionnaires so your next 10 legionnaires um, whether these are going to be through the free legionnaires that you get from him i assume or any other legionnaires that you play they're going to be promoted to centurions so they are like a regular Legionnaire, but they're a bit tankier at 175 HP. And you can differentiate them from the model as it has a shield. Now that's a visual, physical shield, not an actual shield to protect it, so as far as I know. So that's uh, the first new card. And the second new card is a building, Crossbow Clubhouse. So it's a four mana building with an attack. And when it dies, it summons three Crossbow Dudes. So it's got 150 health and lasts for 30 seconds and it does 20 range damage at a range of 8 at 0.8 seconds attack cooldown so 25 dps so not too shabby dps it attacks quickly which means it's going to be good against horde and as mentioned it does drop those crossbow dudes so it does have that extra potential to take bridges so those are the two new cards but let's have a look at the proposed balance changes for 2.2 so, let's have a look at the buffs to start with. Arcane Barrage, damage going up from 50 to 60. Um, I've been using this quite a lot recently, and it seems okay. Um, they, there was a proposed change where it was going to get double stacks each time you use it. That would have been far too strong. Up to 60 damage seems pretty good. Remember, that's damage per stack. You can have up to 10 stacks, so this can do 600 damage to a target when it's fully maxed out in the later game. Uh, sh the Adventuring Party. So if you play the whole party together, remember it's the Groggy Woodsman, the Arcanist, and the Priestess. They all gain shield. That's a nice change because generally you throw it down, they get fireballed. Now they're going to have that um, shield against single target damage like a fireball. Armored Escort. Mana Freeze going down from 4 to 3. Not really seeing too much Mana Escort. Uh, sorry, Armored Escort. Remember now it's a spell that gives shields. And if you use it when you're in Mana Surge, 6 plus Mana, then um, you get your you get a, a, an Escort, a Crystal Sentry with your next ranged minion. Okay, so we got the Blast Crystal and the Resonating Blast Crystal. Um, so their damage is going up from 100 to 120. The reason I think it's there twice is because you've got the damage from the spell and then you've got the damage from the crystal itself. Remember, we have the new resonating construct. So damage going up a little bit there. Ghost, interesting change here, gives its target spirit. So that means that when you ghost something and you take it over, assuming it's not mythic, then it will have the spirit. So um, it should be able to get a bit more value uh, remember the ghost will curse whatever it takes so it will still die in the same amount of time since it's a percentage based uh, damage from the from the curse uh, but it should be tankier 
whilst it's still alive and uh, maybe gets some more value. So a little bit of love there for the ghost. Jungle Rumble, actually Jungle Jumble, I think it's called. Uh, Mona going down from three to two. Remember, this gives you some random Zenshi cards that have the Growth Burst Shroom attached to them. Net Blaster, attack speed going down, so that means it is going to attack more quickly. Always a bit concerning about this because it has a very strong CC effect, crowd control, immobilization, so if it gets too strong, it will be pretty disgusting. Nivea Slumber, damage going up from 100 to 120, so that's if you play Nivea the Fallen before you've got to a Cursed Ascension. You have the Nivea Slumbers card, which is the, the does two lots of damage, or damage to two, to two units up to 120, and if they die, then you get credit for your ascension. I think that's still how that works. So a bit of a damage increase there. Uh, so it, it, it will be able to remove a little bit more, but it's also more likely to, to get kills because if you don't get the kill, you don't get the credit. Right, Frostberry Bearer affects minions that are already below 50%. So that means you can spawn it on something that's below 50% and it will immediately trigger. Nice little change. But I have mentioned this many times before, I would like to see something with the Frostberry Bearer that allows him to get some value out of the charges on his back if uh, he dies with them still intact. Because he's kind of a tank, he has that thick hide, but because he has this ability to uh, buff other minions, you don't want him to die. So it's kind of an attack, a tank, but also a support. So if, um, I would like to see something tidied up there because it feels kind of strange how you wish to play him. Slithering Summon, Sacrifice going up from 2 to 3, so you need 3 Slither Bounds to generate the Sacrifice. Remember the Sacrifice gives... Uh, gives Spirit, but also grants Rage. Uh, so that is a, a living statue. I was just having to think about how that worked then. Living statue, um, Prowler, or the Soul Stealer. So Spirit and Rage. Right, Snap Freeze. Damage goes from 25 to 35. Little bit of an increase. Uh, spirit overall. So the minimum HP that a Spirit will give is up to 100 from original 75 so smaller units will benefit from that storm tamer one of the latest cards added so fixed attacks not being stopped so that means when it's cycloning some things there was odd edge cases where things that were being cycloned could still attack which they shouldn't have been able to do so that's kind of a bug fix but it does make storm tamer stronger and also the cyclone deals attack damage so, so, so Storm Tamer, I, I've seen Storm Tamer used and it can be difficult to play into. Right, nerfs. Blue Golem, attack speed going up. So that means its DPS goes down. Uh, Bounce Brief Flinger also getting a similar thing. Now, if you're in the Mini Masters Discord, again, I'll put a link in the description for that. The, well, there is a PTR channel and there's been quite a long discussion in there between some players and some devs regarding... Um, Really, the, uh, the the giant growth from the uh, the growth burst shrooms and uh, how kind of problematic it is because of since they added the giant growth or the shrooms to the bounce breeze flingers, they just made it so easy to get two shrooms per cycle, and uh, we know how powerful those shrooms can be. So, I would like to see some changes with regards to that. Right, Caber Tosser, we know from experience as well as from my meta videos, and we'll have a meta review for this season coming up soon. We know the Caber Tosser is kind of everywhere. Attack speed going up, so his standard DPS is going down, and his mana is going up from six to seven. So, I mean, he's kind of getting a, a big spank in there. Remember, he used to get the revelry where you could trigger multiple Cabers that was replaced by rage. I still think a raged Caber is, is far too strong for how like pretty easy it is to activate. So maybe a change there in the future. We'll see. Fergus. Again, Fergus is pretty much everywhere, especially in 2v2s. Damage going down from 50 to 40. 
So remember he attacks for five seconds, so that's 250 damage down to 200. So over that period of time, he will um, do a substantial amount of less damage, especially if it's to a lot of targets. Uh, remember, he no longer has the revelry to make him respin. Lost Legionnaires. So they recently lost a copies allowed, but I still think they shouldn't have any at all in their current state. They're far too strong, uh, even though they are a very, really simple card. Um, so they're going to be potentially changed. And remember, if I didn't say this before, these are proposed changes. They may or may not get through depending on the feedback and, and other things. So these are proposed changes. So the proposed change for the Lost Legionnaires is summon one Legionnaire with shield, but also gain Legion. And Legion is kind of a keyword that I've seen behind the scenes that devs use it in these kind of scenarios, but we've never seen it actually in the game. Although it exists, it's just not a keyword that's specifically used. And Legion just means add a Legionnaire to a, a zero cost Legionnaire to your deck just like City Watch or Avea does. So it's already in the game, but it's it's not a keyword I don't think we've seen in the game. So I don't, I'm not sure if they're gonna remove the um, Imperian Army buff. Looks like they probably are. Uh, and the power of the Lost Legionnaires in its current state was, especially when it had the shield, you were able to very easily take both bridges with a reasonably tanky unit for only three mana, and especially when wildcard, it was very, very strong. So this is going to um, restrict that. You can only take one bridge immediately, and then you get another Legionnaire at some point during your cycle that's going to go to some bridge. Morgrel's Mark. So the spawn interval goes up from 0.6 seconds to 0.8 seconds, so the duration increases from three to four, since I think there's five uh, swarm as you get uh, and the timer will be added to the card so um, really just makes it easier to defend the swarmers they, they don't overwhelm you quite as quickly as they did before musketeer damage going down from five uh, sorry from 55 to 50 not really sure why the musketeer is getting a slap on the wrist here musketeer seems in a decent place there's a lot of heavy um melee units in the um, the current meta and the musketeer trades well against those of course um, but just because he's doing well in the meta doesn't it, I'm not really sure why he deserves to get um, a slap on the wrist and of course by nerfing him you make the uh, the things that he was good against um, stronger right rabid prowler I like this change because Berserker Rage on the Rabid Prowler was disgusting. It's jumped, did so much damage. So um, his activation with the Sacrifice is going down from two to only one Slither Bound. So easier to trigger, but the trigger is he gets Rage as opposed to Berserker Rage. Um, I feel like that's qu quite a healthy change. Red Golem gets the same as the Blue Golem. Sapphire Pebble damage going down from 100 to 90. I still think it's too strong for one mana, far too much you can do for it, and of course you get two of them from the, the Myriad. Shield God of Light, attack speed going up, so it's DPS going down. It's kind of the tank in its position of choice. Things like the uh, the Brother of the Burning Fist just get forgotten about altogether, which is a shame, because the Brother of the Burning Fist is one of my favorite cards. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I always really liked him. So um, if we're nerfing the shield guard, maybe some of the alternatives become a little bit better. Right, Snake Druid speed from four to five. So that's his speed that he moves. Um, and something like the Snake Druid being slow is a huge strength to it. So making it faster means that it's gonna get into harm's way more quickly. Uh, but again, Snake Druid is one of those cards that's very strong in the meta because of the heavy melee units. The, a lot of the, uh, the Stout Hearts and the Cleaver, things like that. Uh, so again, you've got to be careful because nerfing things like the Musketeer and the Snake Druid, which are good against things like that, can make that meta even more kind of out of control. But we are seeing the, the meta getting nerfed a bit, though. We have seen the, the Kaber Tosser getting that mana increase and the Woodsman also getting the uh, attack speed reduction. Because a Kaber Tosser is basically a Woodsman with a log. Um, 
so they will share the same stats. The same with the Groggy Woodsman as well. We've seen a lot of Groggy Woodsman, Woodsman and Caber Tosser uh, all together, especially in solos and in duos. We see Fergus come in there more. Uh, and of course, it's super easy to trigger the revelry on them. Uh, and the rage is huge. As I mentioned before, the rage on the Caber Tosser is very, very strong with that Caber doing 150 up to 225 damage. So it can really get huge value and it's very difficult to play around unless you've got some specific cards in your deck to deal with it. Okay, so those are the proposed changes. We've seen the two new cards in theory thought form and the proposed changes. So what I'll do is I'll take some time to really think about these changes uh, and uh, give my feedback to the devs in this form. And uh, as mentioned in the description below, there will be a link to this form. So I really do encourage you to check it out for yourself and give your feedback. Uh, let the devs know what do you think about the proposed buffs and nerfs. Uh, and of course, there will be another section for any other things. I think they just say um, if you can mention one thing regarding balance that we haven't uh, taken consideration of in this uh, balance changes uh, suggestions, let us know what it is. So if there's something you think is really underwhelming or really overwhelming uh, and they haven't been mentioned in these proposed changes, then that's your time to have a, a good say and uh, as mentioned, the devs do read all of these. So um, if you feel like the devs are not listening to, to people's feedback, this is a way that you can definitely get involved and that they, they will definitely listen to it. Um, and then based on everybody's opinion and the devs' opinion themselves, when we get to patch 2.2, then uh, some of these changes will go through, some of them won't, and some of them will get changed between now and then. Uh, so this is your chance to have your say. Uh, as always, let me know in the comments what do you think about the new cards, the changes, stuff like that. Always good to have a discussion. There's been some good discussions, as I mentioned, in the Mini Masters Discord regarding the, these PTR changes, things like the Bounce Breeze Flinger and sort of buffs in general. So if you want to read back through that, check it out. It's uh, a good, uh, a good uh, read, and you can see that the the kind of the devs' thoughts on things. But that's always a fun time. Anyway. If you're enjoying the content here in the fish tank, as always, make sure, should you wish to, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. I don't know how many we normally get. I should probably watch, but uh, the more the merrier. Engage the Matrix. I'm Bad as a Fish, and I'll see you again soon here in the fish tank.